Yeah, that's another thing. I, oh, that's why I was just laughing before this reader came. This came to my mind. A lot of people are, you know, they're used to like getting with a person and you know, when you get to know a person, you start knowing them for who they really are. And it's like around other people like family members, friends, you hold them in high honor on a pedestal because you don't want these people to think that you're with someone that's um, you know, toxic. So it's like you know that person for who they are because you don't got to know them. But now that you had them, you know, put them on a pedestal in front of your family, you got to keep them on that pedestal because you're ashamed of what your family is going to think or different friends or people that's close to you about that person as you had them found out the truth. And that's that's a that's a situation for someone. Somebody was with someone um, attached to some energy and their family was under the impression that this was somebody that was for their higher good. This was somebody that was smart. This was someone that was intelligent. This could have been somebody that was, you know, went to school, graduated college or they were, you know, someone that they looked at as someone that was smart. And they didn't know that this person was somebody that was very toxic. They came off a certain way. And um, they were a whole total different way than what they, um, you know, was told. And that person, this person held them in high honor in front of different people because they didn't want to be embarrassed. They, they wanted people to think that they had somebody that was good for them. Because this is somebody that was dealing with insecurities. Something happened in their childhood where they felt like they weren't enough and they just settled for less. And that's why they were able to be persuaded by different friends and family to stay around that person, to be attached to that person. Because they had to place this person on such a high pedestal and they didn't know it was an imaginary pedestal. This person knew deep down that that person that they were attached to was not, you know, nothing but toxic. But they didn't want other people to know that they had an, um, placed this person on a pedestal and um, knew that they were toxic. But they wanted to look a certain way. This is somebody that got to be seen um, in front of people in a certain way. They want their reputation to be seen in a certain way. So a lot of people were under the impression that this person was somebody that was good for their higher good, but they were they were someone that was someone for their lower self, not their higher self, to keep them toxic. They didn't know what this person did behind the scenes. Um, this person that they were, they knew that this person was toxic, but they didn't know how toxic. It's like that person got to know them, knew that they were toxic, and they still had to uphold this person on a high horse. Because they hadn't went to other people and lied to them to make that, you know, them and that person look good because they were dealing with insecurities. And it's like, um, they didn't even know how far that person was, how toxic and off, how far off gone that person was. They just knew that they were toxic and was trying to hide that little part that they knew from their friends and family. But they didn't know how gritty and grimy and dirty this person was behind the scenes. Yeah, towers here. This person had to went through a drastic change and they're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Yeah, this this thing had nothing to do with this person. It's like it all had to do with their ego, how people looked at them, how they wanted people to look up at them. Because they had to place this toxic person on a pedestal. And this person do never had them going through drastic changes and tower moments. Ever since they had to met them and they didn't know. It was a setup. Yeah, the lovers is here. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This person thought that they were going to take whatever you and this person was supposed to build together, whatever God wanted to give you and this person with this lover's card being here. These are two people that have a deep connection, a deep bond. And they were sent here to, you know, do something. And you see that this angel is watching over both of these people. Is because they were chosen to do something. And um, this person thought that they were going to take whatever gift that God wanted to give you and this person. With this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like God gifting you from the sky, but it's in the reverse. They thought they were going to take whatever gifts that God wanted to give you. And whatever you and this person were supposed to build together with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse. They didn't want you and this person to be abundant together. They didn't want y'all to build. They didn't want y'all to have... Um, yeah, they didn't want y'all to partner up. Two of Cups is here. They knew that you and this person was supposed to partner up. Two of Cups and the Lovers. And um, they didn't want 
you to be able to be gifted. They didn't know that they, whatever God had assigned you and this person to do, they didn't know that they couldn't take that from y'all. They couldn't take it from you. They wanted this person to choose them. This is like also a choice between your higher self or your lower self. And that person was a part of their lower self. And they could have chose that person. And that's why they experienced this tower moment. This drastic change. Yeah, they were sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices as they were going through towers. Crisis, destruction, damage, and all type of stuff that had occurred because of this person. And that person thought that they just would get away with it. Six of Swords is here. This could have been somebody that was at a distance or something like that. A person that they didn't least expect would have anything to do with that. Yeah. This was somebody that they were, you know, distant from. They had a relationship with this person. It was I'm hearing distant lovers by Boosie in my head. This was somebody that stayed miles away from them. That they were partnering up with and doing a whole bunch of stuff from a distance. Yeah, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. You were being divinely guided to sail away from this person as well, but with, by your ancestors with the Six of Swords and Ace of Swords because you knew truth and clarity. You hadn't gained truth and clarity about this person that they were partnering up with or they were in a relationship with or situationship with. And you went elsewhere. You moved forward. You moved on to calmer waters. And this person ended up going through tower moments being attached to this person. They chose their lower self instead of their higher self for this person. This person could have made them think that they were going to get a whole bunch of money. They were going to be wealthy. They were going to have all of this and that. And that person could have had their own agenda. They partnered up with that person because they thought they were going to be a wealthy man. Yeah, but they ended up getting betrayed. Ten of Swords is here. It's like they, they feel like they betrayed their self because they knew that this person was toxic. And it was like they, they you know, ended up getting betrayed, but they let, they, they let it go on. It's like they let this person betray them. They were backstabbed by multiple people. They could have sat back and watched you go through betrayal and they didn't know that person would betray them. This is somebody that could have openly sat back and talked to uh, someone about you and they caught on quick that they were, you know, in love with you, had love for you with this lovers and two of cups. And this person knew that this person was in love with you or, you know, y'all were supposed to do something. Y'all had a deep connection. They knew and they did something to betray you and this person. Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords is here. This person could be an air sign or this is just someone that people thought was someone that was very intelligent. Someone that, um, this is someone that's very calculated. So it's like they try to calculate and cover up everything they do. They try to, um, you know, use, play tricks over people's mind. And people don't realize that. People weren't realizing it before, but it's like they're realizing it now. Yeah, this person was doing a whole bunch of stuff in secret. The moon card is here. This person got a lot of secrets, whoever this queen of swords is. This is somebody that was getting cut off as well. Because it's King of Pentacles and then Queen of Swords. They were cutting this person's off. Cutting this person off. And um they could have cut this person off uh because this person did something and they didn't want other people to know. So this person could have sat back and cheated on them, like did some betrayal and it was close. But they didn't want other people to know. Why they were cutting that person off. And they knew. But they kept it hidden. They didn't want to be embarrassed. They wanted to be seen at this six of wands. And certain lives that was not their own. They wanted people to put them, hold them in high honor. Make it seem like they, they were with someone that was very intelligent. This person is smart. This person is this and that. This person don't be around people. This person is quick to cut off people. And they didn't know this person was somebody that was betraying them. And playing with spell work over them. They had a lot of hidden secrets. They were putting this person on a pedestal and this person was getting a high off of uh, playing with spell work over them. They were only putting that person on a high horse on a pedestal because um, 
this person had to place something on them secretly to have them be seen in certain lights that's not their own. Six of six of uh, wands and then the moon card is here. This person was somebody that talked to them in a trifling way. Disgusting. They didn't want people to know that though. They didn't want like different family to know how trifling this person was and how they talked to them, how they disrespected them and made them feel. They would do that and then they would play tricks on their mind. They would come in and play mind games over them. So, yeah, the world is here. This is a toxic cycle that needed to be completed. It needed to end. It had to end. It was overdue with the world. <laughs> and then Seven of Wands is here. This was somebody was trying to keep this person blocked off. From coming towards you from, from from ending this cycle because they knew if this person completed the cycle they would be in a whole nother cycle with who they were supposed to be with this you which is you this two of cups their two of cups the lover's card but they wanted to keep that hidden they thought that that person didn't know this person knew that you you were um someone that they were supposed to partner up with and it's like this person thought that they would have uh your divine counterpart or this person that you're supposed to partner up with and in the cycle with you and it backfires seven of wands is here you're divinely protected this person placed blockages on their self yeah high priestess is here you're someone that's a high priestess it's like you knew this person's secrets and you didn't even know this person you knew some stuff that was hidden about this person whatever they were hiding with this moon card whoever this queen of swords is you knew it high priestess you could be someone that's, you know, a very, very intuitive, a psychic medium. You could be someone that reads tarot, you watch tarot, or you just knew. You have a strong intuition, very intuitive, very gifted. And um, you expose this Queen of Swords secrets, the moon card and Queen of Swords. This was stuff that they were keeping hidden for a long time. And people didn't know. That person would least expect that they were doing, you know, placing spells over them. They didn't know. The emperor is here. And then six of cups. So this emperor, this is, um, yeah, it's like this person ended up going through this so they can come back you know more mature whenever they whenever you this person reach out to you or whenever you see this person again they're going to be someone that's mature this person could have this yeah i i don't know why i'm getting this but this person could look older now the emperor and then um six of cups they knew this person was a divine being in the past as well. And that's why they wanted this person to come back to them or something. Something like that. But this person could have been somebody that needed to mature before they came towards you. Before they returned or you and this person reunited. Because it was some hidden knowledge that they didn't know and they needed to know about this person. Yeah, Empress on the bottom of the deck. So it's like this person needed to mature. Before they can come back towards you. Six of Cups, Emperor and Empress. Before you can reunite with this person. Because this six of, six of Cups talks about a reunion. And things like that. So it's like. They needed to mature. They needed to cut this energy off. They needed to. Um, block off this energy. With this seven of wands being here. Because they were trying to block them off from completing the cycle out. That they were in with this person that kept backstabbing them and pinning them down. Yeah, king of cups is here. They knew this person was in love with you. They knew this person was in love, you know, elsewhere. So this queen of swords was someone that was very cold. They don't love. They, don't, they are detached from their emotions. But this person had emotions for you. And not this person. So they just, they went and resorted to spell work. And figured that they would get this person to be in love with them. And choose them in some type of way. And they ended up going through tower moments. They ended up going through blockages. Yeah, they got betrayed. This person, 
If this person got so desperate to the point where they put a hit out on this King of Cups, and this person didn't know. This is somebody that they would least expect. They knew this, but it wasn't going, you know, it's like the, the whatever stuff that they were trying to keep hitting, whatever spells they were placing over this person, they knew it wasn't working. And it was like, if, if I can't get you to be in love with me under a spell is what this person was thinking in their head. They were going to take this person out of here. Yeah, they made a decision, three of wands, and they're sitting back waiting on their ships to come in. It's like they already set up this person to go. Whoever this energy is that they were attached to, this queen of swords. And this is what they're keeping hidden. They know this person is not in love with them. They know this person is not um, someone that they're... They know this person is somebody that they're block, blocked off from, like supposed to be blocked off from. They know that they're supposed to be completing a cycle with this person. So it's like they couldn't change this person's mind, you know, about how they feel about you or their heart. And they want this person out of here. Decisions haven't been made about that. It's like they're sitting back waiting for their ships to come in. If this person is still attached to them, it's like they don't know that's the secret. Yeah. The devil and then uh, Queen of Cups. They want this, this person is somebody that's very toxic. Very manipulative. So it's like they could be coming off as if they're a Queen of Cups. Someone that's very loving, caring. But they don't know this person has already set them up to go. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. They had them paid people already. They paid people. They gave, you know, could have been two different people that they already gave money to to take this King of Cups out of here, which is this King of Pentacles. Yeah. They already paid for this. And this person don't know. They're thinking this person is someone that's, um, this is someone that's very possessive. And they're very emotional. Like, this, the devil with the Queen of Cups. This is someone that's always needy, crying a lot, very emotionally unbalanced. They're not stable with their emotions. They're very jealous, very, you know, it's just too much. They're possessive over this person is because they, the spell work that they thought they had over this person is over them. They wanted this person to be possessive over them and stuff like that. But they're that way with that person. And it's like whatever they paid out to do to this person is coming back on them tenfold. The spell work, whatever hit they put out on that person and the people that's attached to it. Equal give and take. As this person is staying attached to them, people around them could go through this and they don't know. They're at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They don't know that this person is someone. They're looking at this person as someone that's very loving and caring and this person is, you know, care about this person. The whole time, this person is the devil. They're very toxic. They come off, you know, like a, this soft, kind-hearted, sweet-hearted type of person. But they're very toxic. They have a lot of secrets and obsessions, addictions. A lot of people are blinded to the truth. It's like this person is getting ready to go through some type of drastic change. And it shouldn't have to take that. But this person got too good. They, they're, you know, either... Getting ready to experience, um, it's like this person has to experience a drastic change to walk away from this person. They have to experience this ten of swords, harsh, painful ends, because this is somebody that they will least expect. Yeah, nine of wands is here. This person is, is uh, they did something over and over again. Whatever they were doing in secret, they did it over and over again, and they're nervous. They don't know that it was rejected. Four of Cups is here. Everything that they sent back, I mean, tried to send out over and over again, it got sent back. It was rejected. It didn't go anywhere. You didn't do anything to this person. This person is trying to hold on to someone that is your divine counterpart. And they're possessive and obsessive over this person. And this person could think that that's love because they weren't raised a certain way. They weren't raised to think, you know, they didn't know the difference between love and lust. This person had to secretly place some type of, you know, something over them, you know, secretly with this moon card. They did some type of spell work, not telling what type, it ain't no telling what type of spell work they placed over that person. 
and this person is possessive over them. Calculating their every steps. And this is how they wanted that person to be for them, possessive over them, in love with them. But it backfired. And people aren't looking at it like that. That person wasn't looking at it like that. They were blinded from the truth. They possibly didn't even know about spell work. They probably didn't believe in it, that people would do stuff like that. And um, that's why this person was able to keep it hidden for so long, whoever this Queen of Swords is. Yeah, this is someone that's very calculated. And um, people think this person is someone that's very kind-hearted. This person is so sweet. This person is this and that. You need to keep this person attached to you and stuff like that. Excuse me. And they didn't, you know, they didn't know that they were blinded to the truth, to a swords. They were binding their self to the devil. Someone that was a toxic uh, soulmate, a karmic soulmate that was keeping them stuck in a karmic cycle. Yeah, two of pentacles. Who have them at the two of pentacles juggling. This person is somebody that... um. Wanted this person to be juggling between thoughts and find it. They're always like juggling this person's thoughts. One minute they'll try to reach out to you. One minute they'll see you in a certain light. The next minute they'll see that person in a certain light. One minute they'll see you in a certain light. The next minute they'll see that person in a certain light. And they're confused. It's because this person is playing trickery over this person's mind like a jigsaw puzzle. And they didn't know this. Yeah, this person is sitting back copying you. Five of Wands is here. Everything you do, they copy. They sit back and compete with you. Sit back and watch you. Have other people watch you. And they report back to them. And they're, you know, very calculated with this Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is sad. <laughs> King of Wands is here. Whoever this person is that's, that's reporting back to them and telling them, all, oh, this is somebody that's attracted to you. So they want to keep that person in that relationship with them because they want to have a chance with you, whoever this King of Wands is. They've been watching you. They have passion for you, affection and attraction towards you. So they, they want to keep this person bounded to the devil and figure they can come in and come quickly towards you. Yeah, this is a friend of this King of Cups. Three of Cups is here. This is somebody that they, you know, kick it with on a the regular. They celebrate with, party with. They're reporting back to whoever this person is. And they're telling them everything. This person is watching you closely, whoever this King of Wands is. Because they want to connect with you. They want to be with you. And they want to keep that person with whoever this toxic person is. This is somebody that they feel sorry for a lot because of the way this person come off. They're always, you know, playing tricks on this person's mind. And they're very needy and act like they're so loving. They're just too possessive. This is somebody that's like out of a Lifetime movie. <laughs> it's sad but this friend is somebody that wants you for their self with this three of cups and king of wands and that's why they want to keep this king of cups somebody that's in love with you attached to this queen of swords and they're reporting back to this person how you dress how you look and this, this stuff like that this king of wands know this person is somebody that's weird but they don't care they want to attach that person to them keep them attached to them so they can connect with you <laughs> yeah the death card is here Wow. This person couldn't know about this person. Um, this Queen of Swords putting a hit out on this person. Yeah, they know this friend. Yeah, this friend is somebody that knows some stuff. Yeah, then a the strength card is here. could be somebody that's a Leo, whoever this King of Wands is. But um, they know something. They could have been hired to do something. They could have been hired to try to kill somebody or, you know, kill this person. Or they could have even been hired to watch you and kill you. Things like that. But whatever they were hired to do, it backfired. You're divinely protected. You're in a whole nother cycle. They're stuck in an old cycle going through the same thing over and over again. Watching you in a whole nother cycle trying to copy you compete with you and whoever this king of wands is They don't know that this person brought the angel of death around them This is sad 
Yeah, King of Swords is here. Yeah, this King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords is, is somebody that knows this Queen of Swords. It could be their brother. It could be their, um, somebody that they're in a relationship with behind the scenes. Yeah. And this King of Cups is somebody that's naive. They didn't know. Yeah. This King of Wands possibly didn't even know that this person was behind the scenes in a relationship with somebody else. And they were helping this person to try to keep that person stuck. But they got somebody else behind the scenes. What is this King of Swords doing? And then Four of Wands is here. They got somebody else behind the scenes watching. Um, Could be this King of Wands house and this King of Cups house with this Four of Wands. Yeah, they got multiple people behind the scenes watching you, watching these people. And they don't know. This is somebody that think they're very smart and calculated. So this person is working with this Queen of Swords. And they don't know that this Queen of Swords got somebody watching them to execute them. This King of Wands, I mean, this King of Swords could be someone like a hitman. And Four of Wands, this is like someone's um house. It's a house on this card. They're watching this person's house, watching that this King of Wands house, or watching them, watching a lot of different people. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is here. They're trying to slow this person down and keep this person distracted. And it's like all these people are working with this Queen of Swords, and yeah, they're all being distracted. Yeah, this is a lot of weight. It's like th these people don't know that they're being weighed down with a lot of burdens and karma, Ten of Wands, for trying to slow this person down or slow somebody down. This Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah. It's like a lot of different people sitting back watching and helping whoever this Queen of Swords, but they're... They're weighed down. They're feeling burden and pressure. It's a lot of weight on them. And they didn't know that they were, you know, being weighed down with this person's karma because they didn't know what they were doing secretly. They were just being told to watch you because of this. Watch that person because of this. Watch another person because of that. And they didn't know the truth. It's like a whole bunch of people got played by this person and they were behind the scenes playing with spell work. The moon card is here. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is here. They did this to hold on to all these people. To have control. This Queen of Swords is someone that has to have control and play tricks off her people's mind and they get a high off of that. Yeah. I mean, it's like these people that started watching you, they ended up, you know... Feeling some type of way about you behind this. Two of Wands in the reverse. It's like they're no longer sitting back at a Two of Wands not knowing which way to go. As they were watching you, it's something that you do. And, um, yeah, you, as I said, you could be this high priestess. But it's something that you do. You know hidden knowledge and hidden, hidden secrets. And that's why these people start, you know... They're no longer at a two of wands not knowing which way to go after watching you. It's like they got unblinded from the truth. They were set up. They were only being weighed down in pressure by this person that was placing spell work over them. Yeah, judgment is here. It's like that person is receiving judgment and karma. And they had not placed a lot of judgment and karma on a whole bunch of people. That's why a lot of people are feeling weighed down and burdened and pressure because they were trying to slow somebody else down and they were just slowing their self down, weighing their self down, doing whatever they were doing for this Queen of Swords. It caused them to go through karma and judgment and that's it. Yeah, it's stressing these people out. Nine of Swords is here. They're stressed out because this Queen of Swords is stressed out. They're at a mental prison in their head. It's like as they stay attached to a person that's like this, this is what they're receiving. Whatever energy that that person is in, that's the energy that they're in. This person placed spell work over them and this is someone they would least expect. Even if they were attached to them in their family. Even if they were friends of theirs, they placed spell work over them. 
to get them to like them, to get them to see them in ways that they're not. And they're stressed out because a lot of people are seeing them for who they are. Yeah, these are people that had knew them for a long time. Seven of Pentacles is here. They had invested a lot of time just sitting back watching you. And they were paying different people. Getting money and just paying different people to, you know, watch you. Do things to you. Do things to this person. And they were just sit back at a distance. As if they didn't know anything, what was going on. All these people were behind the scenes working for them. It's a shame that people would do anything for a dollar. Money is the root of all evil. Love always win in the end. Nine of Cups is here. This person just sat back and whoever they paid to watch you, these people are watching you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. You make these people happy. Yeah, this person, you know, wanted all of these people to look up to them. Queen of Swords, someone that's very intelligent, someone that's very smart. But this is a low vibrational Queen of Swords. Very manipulative. Very cold-hearted. Disrespectful. And they thought that people would look up to them and, you know, praise them, put them on a high horse under spells. It didn't work. It left these people at, that, at the Nine of Swords, a mental prison in their head as that person was getting exposed. And they were... This person was showing up in different people's dreams. Whoever they play spell work over, they didn't know that they were, you know, coming in their dreams and exposing them. Yeah, this person just picked up some stuff and started playing with stuff they know nothing about. Two of swords is here. They were blinded from the truth and trying to blind other people from the truth. Whatever spells they were placing over any of these people, they came through this person's dream and exposed their self. These people's dreams. And they didn't understand why this person was possibly chasing them down or doing stuff in a dream or trying to be nice to them or give them different stuff and it will synchronicities. Yeah, the hangman is here and then a the star card is here. A lot of people were sitting back watching you in this star energy and they were getting enlightened, getting woke. They realized why they were stuck in this situation or stuck watching you so they could release different stuff that they didn't know. They were being called to release whatever attachment that they had to this person that was playing with spell work over them. Because you're someone that helped people get spiritually woke. Spiritually cleanse their self. Balance out whatever had them in a low vibrational energy and attached to this person. They seen you in this energy. You enlighten these people. Yeah, three of swords is here. And that person is sitting back at the three of swords heart broke because they could not rile up these people under a spell. To be binded and blinded to the devil. They're heartbroken. They're stressed out and depressed because they wanted these people to look at them as someone that was a queen of cups. They cared about them. They loved them. They were looking out for them. And the whole time, this is someone that was very toxic. Binded and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt. And they would do stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. And they were just keeping other people chained to a lot of bad karmic debt. And they didn't know. Yeah, justice in the reverse. This is somebody that didn't want justice to be served. They didn't want the situations to be balanced out. This is someone that's evil. They don't like um, justice. They like injustice. They're used to having injustice going on in people's lives. Now they're dealing with this justice in the reverse. Now they're sitting back feeling like justice won't be served for them. And they're at the three of swords heart bro. You did something, they, they did something injustice to a lot of people and they're experiencing this injustice. Yeah, they were just running in quick at the night of ones doing a whole bunch of stuff without thinking. They could have been having sex with all these different uh, people that they had watching you. Including this King of Cups, this person that they knew was in love with you. They were having sex with all of these men. And they were all keeping it a secret and doing stuff for this person. And didn't know they were under a Knight of Wands lustful entity spell. <clears throat> yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here in Seven of Cups. This person was sent here to confuse them so they wouldn't know, you know, what their destiny was. What their purpose was. They were just being illusions to confusions. Stuck in the last generation, not being able to walk away Eight of Cups. And they would never get to what's destined for them, the Wheel of Fortune. Their good luck, their longevity, their abundance. Page of Pentacles is here. 
This is somebody that sat back and got readings on multiple people that they had spells over. And they would just sit back and pay for readings or get readings on these different people. They knew about all of these people' destiny and their purpose, and these are this is somebody that they would least expect that would do stuff like that because they didn't come off that way. They didn't look that way. They were too manipulative. Too much confusion and trickery and spell work was placed over these people until they start watching you and they got woke. Start seeing stuff for what it is. Page of Pentacles, looking at stuff in a whole another way. Yeah, the musician is here. You're someone that get messages from above. You're someone that's a musician. You have creativity, foresight into the future, into your own future. And you're someone that has control over your own life. These people sit back and seeing you manifest in a positive way. As this person sat back and tried to... This person sat back and tried to blind different people from the truth that they were under a ten of swords cursed and hex. This person betrayed a lot of people and had a lot of people help them betray you, backstab you, and you don't even know this person. They were attached to this person that's in love with you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. It's like these people felt like they were working. Whoever that was working for these people, Eight of Pentacles is people that were betrayed. They betrayed you to get betrayed by this person. Only to sit back and watch you and then get woke. And to find out who they were really attached to, who they were really working with. Because they didn't know. 